What's up guys, Brandon over here. I wanted to show you guys some of our farm, some of the chores I'm doing. I'm actually getting ready to go feed the chickens and turkeys. And so I just want to carry you guys along with me and show you what it's like out here on the farm. And uh, hope you enjoy the view. So they'll have that eat up before they go to bed. So, uh, yeah, so it's, uh, we're in Florida here, Northwest Florida, and it is summertime, and we're really trying to stay cool. So honestly, it's like I get nothing done until it's either morning or it's the evening. I'm not a morning person, so it's most likely gonna be the evening. But yeah, I just come right on out here, and you see the girls, they're eating. Um, sun's getting ready to go down soon. It's beautiful out here. Uh, I'm excited to show you guys the farm though. Like, look at this right here. But what we have made, <laughs> I made this roof. And basically out here, uh, even one of my friends calls it, he calls it wind hill because we're high, dry, and there's not a tree in sight, barely, <laughs> on the property. I mean, you see some surrounding us. We got 20 acres out here, but the uh, wind gets so bad. And it just like, um, I mean, it'll just tear stuff apart. So anyways, I built this roof right here behind me and um in doing that uh i didn't really like bolt it down good I, I don't even remember how i did it like i think i just laid two by fours out one direction instead of um framing it all out like i should have and so first tip of the day is do it the right way the first time and i was being lazy i was trying to make a quick thing and now i got all this bent metal which i really need to work on removing um, I'm sure that'll be a video later. Got all this bit metal that I need to get fixed. So um, do it right the first time. And we built another coop right here behind me. Uh, this is our blue coop. This one holds about uh, 48 of our girls. I really want it to hold 40. Um, so I have some roosters I'm going to be getting rid of. Um, I'll see if I can film some of them for you. But there's some roosters I want to get rid of. So that'll knock my number down in there some. Because I really... It's a... Uh, eight by eight i believe and i really just i really made it for like 40 of them show you some of our chickens and turkeys here and i'll show you i'm eating and see if you can pick out some of the roosters in the bunch Turkey making sure everybody's eating. Hey, okay, I'll get you some food. Turkeys are, uh, I can't remember how old they are. I need to look it up. 13 weeks, maybe. But they have just started gobbling around the morning times and uh, evenings at random. They're cute. <laughs> Minus is our Americana. He's like black and gold. He used to always talk junk until we got these bigger turkeys. 
growing up, so now he kind of minds his business. He don't really fuss too bad. We got Bobby somewhere around here. He's our other rooster. Um, we actually hatched him off. Really pretty, dude. He's somewhere. I don't know where he is. I'm surprised he actually ain't out here. He could be. So right here is where we currently collect eggs. And we just, uh, I got it for free when we started chickens. And I mean, it's gotten us by. I really need to redo it though. Like we literally have a wooden latch here. Shout out to all my homesteaders. Um, doing it big, but let's see if anybody's in here. Okay, okay. There's, we got some eggs in here. And there's actually one person in here. And let me tell you, this chicken is mean as fire. Um, we named her, look, three eggs. We got more than that. And if you're wondering why do we only have uh, a few eggs here, it is because most of our chickens are young. We're coming into having some older chickens. And so some of them stopped laying. laying. Some of them is actually, I believe, laying in a random spot, punks, but um, collecting eggs here. I want to show you this chicken, though. This chicken, we call her Houdina. Basically, Houdina, um, she would go missing, and we could not figure out what in the world was happening to Houdina. And um, she would go missing, and then every now and then, like a week later, she'd show up. And we're like, what the heck is going on? Where is she? And so I called her Houdina because she would show up, like Houdini. But it's a girl, it's a hen, so um, Houdina. And basically she'd show up. Well, come to find out, there's this deep hole somewhere on my property and she had made a nest there and was being broody. Well, it's summertime, it's come back to that point, she is broody again. And watch how stinking mean this chicken is. Like she will tear up your hand when you get near her nest. And she actually pecks hard um, compared to most of my other hens. The other ones are sweet, they'll fuss at me, but this girl, she mean as fire. All right, Houdina. Let's see, got an egg here. Hey, look at that. My egg collection. Um, these are wooden eggs too, by the way. Here we go, girl. Show them what you're made of. Whoa, she actually got off the nest. It's a miracle. Listen to her, she's so mad. She cussing at me right now, you hear her? Oh, oh gosh, look at Midas. Midas said, what the heck's going on in there? He said, what the heck do I need to come in there and... <laughs> All right, Houdina, you can come back to your fake eggs, girl. Come on back, sweet cheeks. She's so mad, You, I swear. She usually picks the fire out of me. This girl. Look at that, look at that haul. Hey, that's a good little haul. Summertime haul. Hey girl, what you doing? I got her, I traded some roosters and got three of those older girls. Just for some extra eggs, look at them, they still eating, enjoying life. All right, so it's about that time for my girls to start going up. I'm gonna show y'all on the way out um, my coop here. And the next video, I'll show you the inside of it. I'm working on cleaning it out right now. I got shavings, you ready to go in. You gotta clean the water out, it's nasty again. I get that thing nasty in a day, but I got our solar, um, which that needs to get moved on the backside, really where the sun is, so I can get as much sunlight on this, which honestly, I think that may be my light sensor, so I may be in trouble there. But um, it goes down at sunset. You can set it to a timer, um, and I'm, I may do that right now, just set it to a timer. Um, I ain't got enough hand space, but got a camera on it right here so I can always monitor what's going on out here. And just, isn't that view pretty? Except for the metal roof. Just beautiful view. All right, let's go. Look at that girl, she's still running over there. Well, thank you guys for jumping on here with me. I hope you enjoy this channel. Um, I really wanna just bring you some of the everyday life stuff we do out here on the homestead. Um, right now we're actually, uh, growing Pensacola Bahia. We hope to have that cut. Um, hopefully this week, I hope no later than this week. And if we get that done, I'm gonna get y'all some sweet footage too of that. Cause, uh, we were new to this. I, I didn't grow up in the country and 
I've always wanted to do this my whole life. I have no clue what I'm doing. We're actually learning every day. But I, I have learned it's so peaceful hanging out with the chickens and and seeing just seeing nature and stuff and hearing the turkeys gobble. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed out here and we'll see y'all soon. Doing good? Doing buggy girl. Hey Tiva boy. Marshall. Your face. Bailey. Be gentle. Go, Bailey. Hey Tiva boy. Alright. Before the sun goes down, I'm gonna go get some dog food to feed the dogs. 50 pound bag. Let's go. Who's following me? What are you doing, Bailey? Hey, big girl. You can stay over here. You gonna help me get the food? Crazy girl, look at her. She's like, what's up? Anybody else talk like, like they know their dog's voice, you know? We all have a dog voice. Here's our kennel. Chickens like to come in here and scratch. Don't look at this colossal mess in here. I ain't even gonna show you at all. But let's go get this 50 pound bag. Can't be weak here uh, out here on the farm. You gotta be strong. Uh, pro tip, throw this feed bag on your shoulder and you kind of center that gravity. It makes it a lot easier to carry when you get around. Uh, we got a side by side out here, but it's in the shop. I usually would throw it on the back of that and drive it where I need it. But instead, I'm going to walk it. Let's go.